Welcome to MAT, the Medication Administration Training Course. I'm Darina Mayfield. This training provides a lot of valuable information about topics such as types of medication, possible side effects, permissions, and how to store, handle, and dispose of medication safely. This information helps you better care for children. This is the only course approved by the Office of Children and Family Services, or OCFS, for the administration of medication and child daycare programs in New York State. In deciding to take this course, you've chosen to make an important decision about your program and the services you provide to families. Not only will the knowledge you gain during the course allow you to better care for the children that are currently in your program, but it will also help you be better prepared for the children you may enroll in the future. And when you've completed this training, you'll be able to tell families that you've gone above and beyond the minimum requirements of being a registered or licensed child care provider. As we know, young children are curious, energetic, and eager to learn. Every day presents them with new and exciting adventures, and you do everything that you can to provide them with a safe and healthy environment. Despite our best efforts, children sometimes get sick, or you may enroll a child who has or eventually develops a special health care need. To experience all the world has to offer, children need to be in good health. Left untreated, even a mild illness can interfere with their ability to grow and develop. Sometimes treatment can involve giving medication, which isn't complicated, but does need to be done safely. That's why OCFS has regulations about giving medication in your program. These regulations provide the framework for how you can receive, store, and give medication. Your MAT trainer has a set of regulations for you to use during the training. Remember, regulations sometimes change, so be sure to get the most current copy from OCFS and keep it on hand in your program. During the course of this training, we'll help you understand how to follow the regulations and show you best practice techniques for giving medication. One of the requirements we'll cover is a key principle in giving medication used by nurses and other healthcare professionals called matching the five rights. Matching the five rights is also required by OCFS regulations. You're going to learn a lot about these five rights throughout the training, so by the end of the course, you'll be able to use them correctly and understand why they're so important. We're going to be covering some valuable information here, and you might be feeling a bit nervous about the idea of having to commit a lot of facts and figures to memory. It's okay to be nervous, but don't worry. This training is not about memorizing certain techniques. We want to make sure you not only know what to do, but also why you're doing it. Your training materials will also be a valuable resource for you when you return to your program. To pass the MAT course and become an approved medication administrant, you must be able to read and understand the information that comes with the medication. This includes medication labels, package inserts, and printouts from the pharmacy, which must be written in a language in which you are literate, one in which you can both read and write. Read and understand the instructions from the parent and healthcare provider. Read and understand the parental permission forms and write in the child's log that you have given the medication. You'll need to take a written test, which is given at the end of the training, and you'll be able to look at your handouts as you take the test. You must get a score of 80% or higher to pass. You'll also need to be able to show the MAT trainer that you can follow instructions to give medication safely during a skills test by matching the five rights, and following the parent, healthcare provider, and package instructions to give medication by one of the following routes. Oral, topical, inhaled, in the eye, in the ear, or by applying a medicated patch. In addition, you'll show the mat trainer that you can correctly measure liquid medication using a medicine cup, a dosing spoon, or an oral medication syringe. And finally, after you've learned how to correctly give epinephrine using an auto-injector, you'll show your trainer you understand how to give it safely. You'll get two opportunities to pass the written and skills tests. If you don't pass either one on your second try, you'll have to take the course again. We know taking tests and performing skill competencies can sometimes be challenging. So we want to assure you that you will only be tested on the information covered in this course. 
Practice, take your time, and remember you don't need to memorize. You can use all of your handouts as a resource. Thank you for coming, and thank you for your continued commitment to providing quality childcare. Let's get started.